Well, good morning, Bethel Church. Do we have a treat for you today? And uh, welcome, uh, Bethel Sunrise. Uh, today's our, f- our first time actually streaming the message to our, our, uh, our Bethel Sunrise location. So um, say hi to Bethel Sunrise, everyone here, Bethel Chandler. Uh, we're so glad you're joining us and uh, having done this now the, for the first time, I, I, I could think of nobody better to do it for the first time than uh, Apostle Brother Harry Gomes uh, with us. If anybody can carry the power through the airwaves to our other location, it's him. And uh, we had an amazing time on Friday night. God moved powerfully. And, uh, you know, I was just reminded at the time Jesus uh, was walking into Jerusalem and he cursed a fig, a fig tree. And, um, and then he went into the temple and he, he, he cleared it out and then he came out. And Peter saw the fig tree that Jesus had cursed the day before. And it shriveled up and died. And they were amazed. They were amazed. And uh, Jesus goes on and he says, um, have faith in God that you could speak to mountains that they will move. Right. And uh, and then he said, when you pray, believe and receive uh, as you pray and it will be yours. It, whatever you pray for, believe and receive it um, and it will be yours. And so many people believed and received and actually saw with their natural eyes the physical manifestation of their healing. Others experience it internally and have to to see it be tested out, right? But they believe and have received it. And even tonight, those that even on Friday, you believed and received it, it may have the full manifestation of it tonight. Uh, We just don't know. But what, what we do know is tonight, we are going to believe and receive. And mountains are going to be moved in our lives. And not only tonight, but for all of us today, right here, right now, as uh, Brother Harry Gomes comes in a moment. And before he does, I just want to say, 17 years ago, I had the privilege and the honor of meeting Apostle Brother Harry Gomes. And a year later, uh, the Lord called Julie and I to start this church. We didn't want to start this church, and we were unsure if God really was calling us. But God is so good and so gracious that we, with our many times our unbelief and our doubts, brings confirmation. And uh, independent of Brother Harry hearing or knowing that we felt called to plant this church, uh, Jesus visited him, and he wrote in his journal that moment and said that God was calling us, setting us aside, apart, to start this church. And so... Uh, Brother Harry is so connected with uh, this church and and many things and has uh, opened my eyes uh, as I traveled to India uh, over a decade ago. And I saw the miracles that we read about in the Bible. I performed the miracles with the power of God in the name of Jesus. Deaf ears opening, blind eyes opening. And it was there that I that I went to another level of believing when Jesus said that you and I who believe would do the same things that he did and even greater things. Brother Harry, God used you to help me see that truth. And so would you stand to your feet, Bethel, and over at Bethel Sunrise and give a warm welcome to Brother Harry Gomes. Close our eyes. Lift up our hands toward the heaven. Maker of the heavens and earth, God Almighty, Heavenly Father, Jehovah, Everlasting Father, Son of God, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You were born for us in the flesh through the womb of the Virgin Mary. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit. You died for us on the cross. You bore our sins, curses, poverty, sickness, weakness, problems. You died for us on the cross, rose from the dead on the third day. You are the God living forever on the right hand side of the Father, interceding for us as high priest. God, Holy Spirit, everlasting Father, Father of all the spirits, Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, this morning we lift up our hands toward the heaven. We ask you to glorify the name of beloved Son, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who sir came here this morning, open up all our hearts open up the eyes of our understanding. We want to see your glory. We want to experience the power of your word. God Almighty, whatsoever the heart desire of thy children this morning, be granted unto them. Whatever the petition they have, let it be granted today. God of heaven, prosper their life journey. You speak to us this morning. We want to hear from thee. We pray to Father in Christ Jesus' most holy name. Everybody said Amen. amen. Everybody said hallelujah. hallelujah. Everybody clap your hand and give the glory. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jehovah. Glory to Holy Spirit. Amen. You may be kindly seated. Thank you. My love and greetings to all of you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. If you are in the morning, good morning. <laughs> Sleeping mood, good night. <laughs> Whatever you can enjoy. God Almighty bless you. Amen. Amen. When I came to America this visit after a long time, God showed me in the spirit realm a lot of brokenness in the families. God's heart Families are very important. First in our life, God must be important. We have to love God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our strength. We love our neighbor as we love ourselves, who are like good Samaritan who do the good to others, love them as you love yourself. Second priority is our family. Without family, we get nothing. Third priority is your job, your business, your ministry, your agriculture. But during the process of time, we made many times our jobs, our business, our ministries, and our agriculture is a first priority. We thrown family into last priority. That's why so much of the brokenness everywhere we see in the world. But God's plan toward the family never changed. God loves the families. 
God love all your family this morning. Somebody said, Yes, Lord. Yes. Even you are angry with your family, say, God, you love my family. <laughs> God's plans on your family never change. God first blessing when he blessed the Adam and Eve. God said, be fruitful. Increase. Multiply. Subdue everything. Rule over. This is the God's fivefold blessing. But by the time Noah's time came, people's disobedience, they lost subduing ability and dominion. That's why Genesis 9 verse 1, God said, be fruitful, increase, multiply. What Genesis 128, God gave 5, became 3. But during the course of time, as the years goes by, even people are not able to enjoy even that three blessings. But this morning, I encourage you, in the year of 2000, when I was fasting and prayer, Jesus Christ appeared to me. I fall into the trance that time God told. Haggai chapter 2, verse 19. Son, so many revivals took place in the world in different way. But through you, wherever you go, and you people will see the blessedness. That time onwards, wherever I went, God started blessing the people. I started as a one-man army, and God enabled me to reach 15 million souls in the land of India, 13 states. I covered. It is not my greatness or anything. I trust what the God says. I honor God every day in the morning. I honor my family. Whatever may be, you get the problem, I get the same problem. But God loves my family, God loves your family. We are not supernatural, our God is supernatural. God's love never change on our families. You have to trust your families are going to be blessed this morning. Amen. Amen. There is a one man called David in the Bible. He prayed this family prayer. Second Samuel chapter 7, 26 through 29, he said, Lord, through your servant, Family, let your name be glorified forever. Everybody sitting this morning, I encourage every one of you, through your family, God's name be glorified from this morning. Because you are all created, called by the name of God in order to glorify his name. Isaiah 43, verse 7. We are here as a born-again believers to glorify the name of God. God given you mouth to say glory, to say hallelujah. God given you hand, lift up the hand and glorify the name of God. God given us the mouth to always tell good talk, good about Him. 1 Corinthians 6, verse 19. God given us the hand to do the good work, bring the glory to God. Matthew 5, verse 16. As a born-again believer, what Jesus Christ says, trust Him, believe in Him, obey Him, obey His voice, get much fruitful, let Heavenly Father name glorified through your family. John 15, verse 8. As a Christian, whatever may be the difficulties you are facing, Never feel shame. Always glorify the name of God. 
1 Peter 4, verse 16. That's why whatever may be the situation, never hide anything. Tell to God, God, I glorify you because you never put me into shame. Somebody said, yes, Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Through every one of your family, God want his name to be glorified. That's what King David said. Let through the family of thy servant, let your name be magnified and glorified. Then he said, God, let your servant's family establish in your holy presence. You know, family is not a building. Family is not a constructed place. Here in this temple, in Bethel, you are the household of God. You are the household of God. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 19. You have to feel like a family when you come to the Bethel church. Amen. Be of good cheer. I want to see the smiley faces. So many people are so serious. Even if you beat me, I don't cry. If you want, you can try me. Amen. Be cheerful. You know, when you go out, you will be so laughing and making fun, making jokes. But when you are in the temple, rejoice in the presence of God. Amen. That's what God wants every one of us. We live in India. You come and see my church. All the poor people, but their faces are so radiant. I encourage every one of you. We are in the presence of God in Bethel Church. And God wants your families to be established in his holy presence. What happens when his presence comes? Exodus 33, verse 14, 16, and 19. You will be always in a resting way, smiling way. You receive the word of God. No tension. Don't tension. Amen. <laughs> Don't get angry with me. Amen. When his presence comes, you are a special people on the face of the earth. When his presence comes, what God promised the goodness, you are able to enjoy this morning. Amen. Amen. That's why he said, let my family established in your holy presence. When his presence comes, people might be talking hundred bad words about your family. But God knows it, how to hide your family in his holy presence. Psalm 31, verse 10. When his presence go before you every day, Ever obstruction, God removed from today. Micah chapter 2, verse 13. When his presence come to you, always there is a fullness of the joy. Somebody said joy. joy. Amen. Change your name as joy. Amen. Psalm 16, verse 11. That's why your family is from today. Whether you have money or not, whether you might be living in your own house or rented house or apartment, no problem. But from today, let your families be established in the holy presence of the mighty God. Then David said, God, you are God. Your words are true. With your blessing, let your servant's house be blessed forever in your holy presence. You know the devil is the liar. He is the father of lies. Never trust what he talks about your family. Trust what God says. It is truth. Because Numbers 23, 19, God said, I'm not the man to speak lie. I'm not the son of man to say I'm sorry. God never said that. God said this morning, I'll bless your family. I establish your family. I'll be with your family. That is true. Because Hebrews 6 verse 18, by his promise, by his covenant, impossible for the God to lie. What he says, he will bless your family this morning. 100% he bless your family. No lie in him. First Samuel 15, verse 29. God of Israel, 
who is the strength of Israel, it is impossible for him to lie. This morning, what you are hearing, when you trust your family, surely going to bless because he is the God of truth. God of truth. That's why Isaiah 65 verse 16, in this Bethel church, when you are on this earth, if you want a blessing of your family, bless yourself upon the God of truth. He will bless you this morning. Don't bless yourself upon the lies of the enemy. God of truth, bless you. His name is Jehovah. Son of God, Jesus said, I am truth. You need not understand the truth. You have to understand Jesus Christ is the Son of God. In Him no lie. This morning, He will bless your families. Somebody said, Yes, Lord. Yes. Somebody said, Bless my family. Bless my family. Amen. Amen. That's why King David said, God, you are God. Your words are true. With your blessing, let your servant's house be blessed forever in your holy presence. Amen. Amen. This morning onwards, write in your diary, your family is going to be blessed. You may be an individual, single family, single mother, single father, or you may have wife and husband or children, but we are all of God's family. We are all of God's family. God wants to bless your families. Amen. Amen. How many of you want really your family to be blessed? Don't get mad with your family. Don't get mad with me. Lift up your hand and say a big hallelujah. hallelujah. Pastor Evangelist, lift up your hand. Amen. Your wife is seeing you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. God bless all of you. Amen. You are the family of God. God wants to trust you and bless you. This life story. God, the message today, who don't need anything from your family, but God want to supply all the needs of your family. This is the title of the message. God won't need anything from you, but God want to supply all the needs of your family this morning. Amen. God said, I don't need anything from you. Acts 17, 25. But God said, what you ask for the glory of my son Jesus, I will supply all your needs. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. When you trust God, this morning onwards, God is going to be with your family. You never lack anything. Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 7. The Bible says, God said 40 years, when the children of Israelites walking in the wilderness, God said, I am with you. You lack nothing. The same challenge God is throwing to your family, you lack nothing. Amen. From today, Amen. you have to trust God. From today, yeah. write in your diary. Write in your diary. Write in your diary. 30th July 2023 onwards, you and your family are blessed as for Haggai chapter 2, verse 19. Somebody said, yes, Lord. Yes. Somebody said, amen, Lord. Yes. Somebody clap your hand and say a big hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Yes. When you clap hand, two things will happen. Sleeping people will woke up. God's name be glorified. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. God want, after all, you know, we brought nothing. We take nothing from the world. You believe or not, I have no desire on anything on this earth. Even this, my dress every year, given by Jennifer Turner, my daughter here. Even if she take away this, I go away without this dress. I can give her back and go. I have no desire on anything, you believe or not. That's my life. But I want God to be with me. I encourage every one of you. God must be with all of us. God must trust our families. This morning, I am going to see supernatural way 
your families are going to be built back it's not that every time we are just sorry 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 not that live a simple life joyful life you know everybody got different reactions but my god never react to your reaction harry gomes never react to the reaction of the enemy even you laugh or not i laugh at you i bless you even you curse me i bless you yeah man that's what i learned in my life this morning you listen very careful what god is speaking it's not harry go speak psalm 39:3 one man david said what i made it on god my heart became hot within me then my mouth spoke what who spoke second samuel 23 verse 3 2 5 he said holy spirit spoke by me this morning holy spirit is going to speak to you give the room to the holy spirit he will bless your life journey amen this david he cried he sang he said psalm 31 verse 12 lord i am like a broken vessel i am forgotten by everybody why what was his problem my daughter and my son everyone might have forgotten you but god is telling me to tell you Isaiah 49 verse 15 Mother won't forget suckling child even she forgets I don't forget That's why David wrote his experience even my father and mother may forget me but my God draw me near to him Psalm 27 verse 10 This morning the psalmist David said I'm broken you might have broken in your heart you might have broken in your family relationship with your father with your mother with your children with your generation or with your friends they are all family but god can be able to mend it god never forgotten you this morning you are to trust almighty god tremendously he is going to unite your family when king david's family is broken he wrote psalm 25 verse 16 he said lord i am lonely i am desolate how the mercy on me he got a family he got wives he got children but why he said i am lonely many times we have the family wife turn one side husband turn one side and we don't talk to children we don't have the time we are so busy we think we are offending our children as a parents you got ever right to bless your children and teach them how to lead a godly life family means wife husband children generation it's not a one man one man's entity king david said that then there was a sorrowful moment in his life the family totally broken he wrote in psalm 6 verse 6 and also psalm 56 verse 8 god put my tears in your bottle he said my tears became my food such a brokenness he came to into his family now you have to understand what happened to david He was a shepherd boy you know a child in the family when he was ordained by the holy spirit that time on what the holy spirit was upon him with the strength god saw his heart first samuel 16 verse 7 act 13 verse 22 first samuel 16 verse 13 but in spite of god's holy spirit is upon him his family is broken one day when he was in a place called jiklag 1 Samuel 30 verse 1 to 19 
he and 600 of his friends male members all went out by the time they came back amalekite the enemies of god whom god said exodus 17 verse 15 and 16 generation to generation i fight against these amalekites the same people came in the jiklag the city where they are living the entire place all the houses they burnt they took away david's two wives and his friends wives children oxen sheep everything they have they took away amalekites by the time they came burnt out city everybody cried and cried my daughter and my son your faith may move the mountain but your tears move the heavenly father he will bring him from the heaven to your family rescue today psalm 119 verse 126 there is somebody crying for you don't think nobody is crying for you there is somebody who understand your family difficulty crying for you his name is lord jesus christ john 11 verse 35 when he saw the sorrow he wept cried hebrew chapter 5 verse 7 when he is sojourning on the earth whenever the people are suffering families are suffering he cried vehemently before the almighty god when he saw some cities are desolate they are not having the love of god he cried over them luke chapter 19 verse 41 today the same jesus who became the man of sorrow for you and who is known every time when you are suffering he is telling you are my daughter you are my son you are my family i come to your risk i became a man of sorrow for you this morning i want to come to your family i want to wipe out every tear you are undergoing in your family when they lost everything everybody was crying and lamenting all the 600 people after crying for some time they thought because of this david we are getting this problem let we take the stone and kill him everybody gnashing the teeth took the stone want to kill david but david not looked into their teeth not looked into their stone not got mad with them but he took strength in his heart first samuel 30 verse 6 whatever may be your problem today wife husband children grandchildren you have a problem don't get mad or angry with someone today take the courage in your heart god want to speak to you in your heart allow the god to come and dwell everybody everybody want to stone and kill david but king david took the courage in his heart god see your heart he see your broken heart he see your rejoicing heart he see your strong heart he see your heart of the flesh he see your broken heart he knows your condition how your heart is vibrating this morning amen even some of you get mad with me why this indian guy is giving long sermon <laughs> god see your heart ecclesiastic 722 god said if you curse someone i know your heart you cursed someone you cursed harry gomes no problem harry gomes never curse you back god almighty sees your heart the king david cried unto god he took the strength take the strength for your family just like a broken vessel don't live forever fight against the enemy pray for the enemy who is taking your children who is destroying family relation who is destroying wife and husband relation always contentions take the courage in your heart today pursue what god says that is the time when the effort was brought god answered 
pursue the enemy you will recover everything first samuel chapter 30 verse 7 and 8 today god is telling me to tell you don't pursue your problem pursue god's direction when god give you direction he will direct your family continually not one day not this sermon not today write in your diary every day continually he will guide your family Amen. isaiah 58 verse 11 every step of you continually he will ordain from today psalm 37 verse 23 tell unto god god my family belong to you i want my family i want wife and husband relation good i want my children i want my father-in-law mother-in-law relation i want my generation to be a blessing yes. when you're pursuing the enemy always the defining moment arises in the crossroads of our life we are not super beings we all have troubles i also underwent so many troubles in my life in my family but every time i overcome with the help of the holy spirit with the guidance of the holy spirit when the king david is pursuing that is a defining moment arise Amalekites was having one soldier of Egyptian. He got a fever, sickness. They thought he will die. They thrown him out. Gone. Three days and nights, he could not eat anything. He was like a dead man. King David, when he saw, he has not got angry. He has not killed him. That is the broken heart. Broken heart means what? Not simply crying. Responding to the call of God, responding to the needs of the people. That is the broken heart. King David, how that brokenness, he brought that man, gave him the good food, he gave him the raisin, he gave him the bread. Some of you are getting the water in your mouth. When I tell about bread, <laughs> you can go and eat nice food afterwards. Now eat the bread, word of God. I encourage every one of you. That is the time. Defining moment always arises. Even Saul, David got an opportunity to kill him. But he spared him. You know what the enemy said? 1 Samuel 24, 17, you are more righteous than me. Today, God is telling, you trusted Jesus, you are right as people in this temple. In this temple, Romans 5, verse 1, 7 and 8. You are washed by the blood. Because of that, from today, Proverbs 3, verse 33, your dwelling place, your house is going to be blessed forever. Somebody said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. Somebody say, My dwelling place, my dwelling place, my house from today is going to be a blessing forever. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 The defining moment arise. This man showed the way where the Amalekites. King David went and he killed all the enemies. Only 400 people escaped. With the 400 people help, King David destroyed the entire camp of Amalekites. Whatever he lost, everything he recovered. 1 Samuel 30, verse 18 and 19. Write in your diary. 30th day, July 2023. Whatever you lost for your family, all these years, you are going to recover this day. Who <laughs> sir, trust. Who sir, say hallelujah. Who sir, say amen. It is going to happen in your family from today. From today, you are going to recover everything. Some of you may think, what I have to recover? You have to recover your spiritual life. You have to recover your family. You have to recover nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. You have to recover the nine fruit of the Holy Spirit. You have to enjoy the joyfulness in your family. It is not the money makes us great people. It is the Lord presence in your family makes your family a great family. Not only he recovered everything what he lost, he also recovered what the enemy Amalekites from different countries, what they stolen, all the wealth came to David. 
you have to understand here everyone sitting here you and your generation god said prob 13 verse 22 righteous man get the wealth of the wicked you and your children are going to enjoy the wealth of the wicked it's not your wealth stolen by the devil it is not your wealth your peace your joy stolen by the devil what you lost it not only you recover what the enemy have all the material wealth god is going to grant unto your life god is going to bless god is the restorer god is the repairer of the breach in your family from today isaiah 58 verse 12 trust the living god this morning the defining moment came until that time david was a fugitive he was only 23 years at that time his age defining moment came not only he recovered entire his family what happened at the 23 years age second samuel chapter 2 verse 1 to 6 the people of the judah came and said you be king over my people at the age of 30 second samuel chapter 5 verse 1 to 6 the people of israel came and said you be king over israel everybody sitting here every person in every family you are not an ordinary person god called you lamb of god jesus christ slain for you he washed you by his blood why power riches honor glory wealth not only that he said i call you as the kings and priests revelation 5 verse 9 to 12 revelation 1 verse 6 that's why as a priest in the temple you must be prayer warriors you must be able to pray even five minutes with a good heart with the power when you pray you are going to see your church will grow your family will grow the church family god's family everything you are going to see the defining moment is going to take place not only god made david king god is going to make you as the king and priest in his kingdom in his kingdom from today right in your heart right in your book god is going to make your family a blessed family not only that god not left him there what god did everyone look unto me don't sleep some of you if you sleep this side i look this side <laughs> otherwise you get mad with me so you have to hear very clear not only god restored not only god made him king later part god said to david i'm making a covenant with you isaiah 55 3 covenant of my sure mercies never depart from you what the covenant he made two covenants god made second chronicle 13 verse 5 god said david your family and your generation be the salt covenant of the salt second chronicle 21 verse 7 he said i made the covenant of the light that's why jesus christ when he born through the family of the david matthew 1 1 what jesus christ said he said matthew chapter 5 verse 13 14 16 jesus christ said everybody sitting in this bethel church in this morning you are the salt of the world you are going to give the taste to the tasteless world he said you are the light of this world you are going to become a light to the darkened world you are going to illuminate the people you are going to bethel church going to do the good work heavenly father name he is going to glorify your light he is going to shine in america in chandler area wherever you are through the bethel church and your families are going to be blessed somebody said yes lord yes. somebody said amen lord yes. somebody said hallelujah lord yes. somebody said glory to god yes. amen hallelujah yes. hallelujah god is told to king david he said david what i made the covenant with you i don't break what gone out of my mouth 
ఐ డోంట్ ఆల్టర్ సామ్ ఎయిటీ నైన్ వర్ థర్టీ ఫోర్ సేమ్ గాడ్ ఈస్ టెలింగ్ అండర్ ద సేమ్ కవనెంట్ యు ఆర్ ద ట్రస్టింగ్ లార్డ్ జీసస్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ మార్నింగ్ గాడ్ నాట్ ఆల్టరింగ్ ఈస్ కవనెంట్ గాడ్ నాట్ ఆల్టరింగ్ వాట్ ఈస్ సెట్ టు యూ దిస్ మార్నింగ్ వాట్ హీ డిడ్ టు కింగ్ డేవిడ్ అన్ ఆర్డినరీ షపర్డ్ బాయ్ మేడ్ ఇమ్ ఎ కింగ్ సేమ్ బే యు ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు బికమ్ కింగ్ యు ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు బికమ్ కింగ్ ఈవెన్ ద ఉమెన్ విల్ బికమ్ కింగ్ ఐ డోంట్ కాల్ యూ క్వీన్ యూ మే ఆస్క్ వై ఆఫ్టర్ అవర్ డెత్ నో మేల్ నో ఫిమేల్ వీ ఆర్ ఆల్ లైక్ అన్ ఏంజల్స్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ లుక్ చాప్టర్ ట్వంటీ థర్టీ ఫైవ్ టు ఫార్టీ ఇన్ ద హెవెన్ వీ హ్యావ్ ద ఫ్యామిలీ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ వీ ఆర్ ఆల్ లైక్ ఏంజల్స్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ ట్రస్ట్ గాడ్ ట్రస్ట్ గాడ్ నాట్ ఫర్ ఎ డే నాట్ జస్ట్ వెన్ యూ కమ్ టు చర్చ్ ట్రస్ట్ వాట్ గాడ్ గివెన్ ద కవనెంట్ హీ డోంట్ ఆల్టర్ వాట్ గాడ్ సెడ్ సెకండ్ శామ్యుల్ సెవెన్ ట్వంటీ నైన్ కింగ్ డేవిడ్ సెడ్ ఫైనలీ గాడ్ విత్ యువర్ బ్లెస్సింగ్ లెట్ యువర్ సర్వెంట్స్ హౌస్ బి బ్లెస్ ఫర్ ఎవర్ ఇన్ యువర్ హోలీ ప్రజెన్స్ విత్ గాడ్స్ బ్లెస్సింగ్ యువర్ ఫ్యామిలీ ఈజ్ బ్లెస్డ్ ఫర్ ఎవర్ you know your job your business your ministry your agriculture bring one side of the blessing but god's blessing is multifold god's blessing is multifold amen even i don't have one rupee i have no problem at all because god said my life is a blessing wherever i go people's life is a blessing what i ask everywhere god bless the people who hear your voice who obey your voice automatically you are all going to be blessed who heard the voice of god this morning your families never be destroyed by the enemy your families constructively built upon the solid foundation of lord jesus christ amen, amen. hallelujah how many of you want your families to be blessed amen. amen if you are not angry with me you can stand up amen hallelujah if you cannot rise up yourself i come and help you god said help you help your neighbor as you help yourself amen, amen. hallelujah god want to bless you god want to bless your family god want to bless your generation god loves all of you Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for joining us for service today. Excited to have you. And remember, you matter to us and you matter to God. And because you matter to us, we want to connect with you. So please be sure to fill out a connect card and let us know how we can be praying for you this week and we'll see you here next week. Now check out these announcements. crew this is the day the lord has made let another man's lips praise you and not your own direct our paths into the good things that you have in store for us in jesus name amen
Hi, Bethel family. I'm John. This is my wife, Catherine. We head up B Streets, the evangelism and outreach ministries for Bethel Church. B Streets is all about going into the world and preaching the gospel. And we would love to invite you to be a part of our local team. If you would like to give, we invite you to give through the Bethel app, available through your app store. Whether new to Bethel or one of our members, we want you to know that we are all about relationship. So connect with us, press connect and let us know how you're doing. And if you need prayer, well, we can pray for you. Press pray with us and one of our ministry staff will take on your prayer request. Digitally challenged? Well, don't worry. We have gift envelopes and connect cards located in the seat back in front of you. And if you are connecting with us online, simply download the Bethel app or visit our website at www.bethelchandler.com. To find out more about what's happening here at Bethel, register for events, or listen to the latest sermon, download the Bethel app or visit our website at www.bethelchandler.com.